Is it time to buy or sell Microsoft stock? In this video, we will explore the intricacies of Microsoft. Our initial report was published on our website on Tuesday, the 10th of September, 2024, and now we are here to offer you a more comprehensive analysis. Remember to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay informed about our latest insights. You don't want to miss any critical updates that could influence your investments. Enhance your trading decisions by trying our newly launched AI stock analysis tool, powered by GPT-4, at stockinvest.us. Utilize the power of AI to receive free price predictions and in-depth analysis for anyone among 25,000 companies worldwide today. Please note that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be regarded as financial advice. Since the 10th of September, 2024, our system has ranked Microsoft as a sell candidate, assigning it a score of negative 1.31. Now, let's examine the stock's performance during this period. We will continue to monitor this evaluation to see how it develops in the coming days. The stock is currently positioned within a broad and declining trend in the short term, indicating that further declines are likely. The trend observed over the past three months suggests a potential decrease of approximately 11.31% over the next three months, with a possible return ranging from minus 20.09% to minus 8.53%. In contrast, the trend over the past 12 months indicates a change of about 28.90% over the next year, with a potential return between 25.28% and 51.73%. This would result in a price range from $518.90 to $628.49 after a year. Our latest daily update for Microsoft includes the headline, Weaker Technical Forecast for Microsoft as Stock Downgraded to Sell Candidate. The Microsoft stock price gained 2.09% on the last trading day, which was Tuesday, the 10th of September, 2024, rising from $405.72 to $414.20. During that trading day, the stock fluctuated by 2.12%, ranging from a low of $407.70 to a high of $416.33. The price has been experiencing ups and downs during this period, showing a slight gain of 0.17% over the last two weeks. Volume increased on the last day along with the price, which is a positive technical sign, with a total of 4 million more shares traded compared to the day before. In total, 19 million shares were bought and sold for approximately $8.07 billion. Over the past 52 weeks, the highest stock price reached was $468.35, while the lowest price was $309.45. Currently, the price stands 11.56%, or $54.15, below the 52-week high of $468.35, which is also the all-time high for the stock. Recently, Microsoft has been prominently featured in discussions among analysts as a key player in the future of technology and artificial intelligence. D.A. Davidson highlighted Microsoft as part of the Magnificent Six, alongside notable companies like Apple and NVIDIA, suggesting it will dominate upcoming tech waves. This kind of endorsement is likely to bolster investor confidence, supporting stock price stability in the short term. Additionally, Microsoft's investments in artificial intelligence, particularly with OpenAI, are generating optimism in the market. The positive sentiment surrounding these investments indicates potential for growth, especially as artificial intelligence continues to foster advancements in various sectors. Moreover, discussions from the Goldman Sachs Communicopia Plus Technology Conference included Microsoft's strategic vision, which could further enhance investor trust. Analysts emphasize the need to watch how these developments influence Microsoft's market performance in the coming quarters. In the long term, 
the entry of organized labor into Microsoft could have mixed implications on operational efficiency and costs, affecting stock performance during labor negotiations. However, with consistent demand for Microsoft software solutions, analysts suggest that the company remains resilient against economic fluctuations, reinforcing its status as a potentially recession-proof investment. Overall, Microsoft seems well-positioned for growth driven by artificial intelligence advancements and strong market endorsements, which could lead to favorable stock price movements. Analyst Ratings On Wednesday, the 4th of September, 2024, it was reported that Wells Fargo assigned Microsoft a grade of overweight with a hold recommendation. On Wednesday, the 28th of August, 2024, it was reported that KeyBank also assigned Microsoft a grade of overweight with a hold recommendation. On Tuesday, the 27th of August, 2024, Wolf Research gave Microsoft a grade of outperform, along with a hold recommendation. On Friday, the 16th of August, 2024, BMO Capital assigned Microsoft a grade of outperform with a hold recommendation. On Wednesday, the 31st of July, 2024, Goldman Sachs assigned Microsoft a grade of buy, along with a hold recommendation. Analysts have assigned Microsoft stock a general neutral rating. They have categorized the price-to-earnings ratio as strong sell and the price-to-book ratio as strong sell as well. Regarding return on investment, the analysts rate the stock as strong buy. The following signals have been identified for Microsoft. A buy signal was issued from a pivot bottom point on Friday, September 6, 2024, and so far it has risen by approximately 3.11%. Further increases are indicated until a new top pivot has been established. Volume is rising alongside the price, which is considered a positive technical signal. However, some negative signals have also been issued, which may impact the near-term development. The Microsoft stock holds a buy signal from the short-term moving average. At the same time, the long-term average presents a general sell signal. Since the long-term average is above the short-term average, there is an overall sell signal for the stock, leading to a more negative forecast. On further gains, the stock will meet resistance from the long-term moving average at $414.56. If the stock declines, it will find support from the short-term average at $409.36. A breakout above the long-term average will generate another buy signal, while a drop below the short-term average will produce an additional sell signal and reinforce the overall negative signal. Additionally, there is currently a sell signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence, also known as MACD. Here are some additional signals that may capture your interest. The moving average convergence divergence indicates a sell signal. The pivots revealed a buy signal three days ago. The Bollinger Bands also indicated a buy signal three days ago. The short-term moving average showed a buy signal two days ago. Conversely, the long-term moving average generated a sell signal 39 days ago. Additionally, the relationship between the short and long moving averages indicated a buy signal 36 days ago. If we examine the 12-month chart, we observe. The short moving average produced a buy signal 2 days ago. The long-term moving average generated a buy signal 32 days ago. Furthermore, the relationship between the short and long moving averages indicated a buy signal 23 days ago. For more signals, be sure to visit our page at stockinvest.us. Support Risk and Stop Loss for Microsoft Microsoft experiences support from accumulated volume at $408.49. This level could present a buying opportunity, as an upward reaction is anticipated when the support is tested. Generally, the stock exhibits controlled movements, and with strong liquidity, the risk associated with this stock is considered very low. Over the past day, the stock fluctuated $8.63 between its high and low, representing a change of 2.12%. Additionally, for the past week, the stock has maintained an average daily volatility of 1.92%.
Before we dive into the potential favorable trading levels for Microsoft, let's quickly review some essential fundamental data. First, we have the price to earnings ratio, commonly known as the PE ratio. This important metric compares a company's current share price to its earnings per share. This PE ratio is relatively normal, often observed in companies with long histories or stable revenue streams. In other news, the forthcoming earnings report for the third quarter of 2024 is anticipated on the 22nd of October, 2024. Analysts are estimating earnings of $3.09 per share. It's essential to monitor these figures as they can significantly influence stock prices. Now, let's discuss some potential day trading levels for Microsoft. The combined average rating for Microsoft from various analyst sources is neutral. Let's examine some recent insider trades. On the 6th of September, 2024, Emma N. Walmsley made an insider purchase of 146,253 shares of restricted stock units. On the same day, John W. Stanton conducted an insider buy of 146 shares of common stock. Also, on the 6th of September, 2024, Charles W. Scharf made an insider purchase of 146 shares of common stock. Carlos A. Rodriguez, on that same date, conducted an insider buy of 255,166 share of restricted stock units. Lastly, Penny S. Pritzker purchased 239,607 shares of restricted stock units on the 6th of September, 2024. Analyzing the 100 most recent insider trades, we find that insider power is negative, with a ratio of 0.427. In total, Insiders acquired 448,659 shares and sold 475,797 shares in the last 100 trades. We hold a negative evaluation for this stock, and currently there is no stop loss established. Is Microsoft stock a good buy? Currently, Microsoft is showing several negative indicators leading us to believe that its performance will remain weak in the upcoming days or weeks. Consequently, we have a pessimistic view of this stock. Given some minor weaknesses in the technical analysis, we have revised our assessment from a hold or accumulate to a sell candidate since our last evaluation. After examining the volatility and market movements from the previous trading day, our systems indicate that the current price is overvalued. For trading on Wednesday, the 11th of September, we anticipate that Microsoft will open lower, down by $1.46, starting at $412.74. We remind you that trading involves a high risk of losing money and that you should speak with a financial advisor before buying or selling any securities. You should not base your investment decision upon stockinvest.us. By using the information, you agree and are held liable for your own investment decisions. This is our current view of the stock. Do you agree or disagree? Please comment below and share your thoughts. What is your target for the stock? Remember to like and subscribe. We wish you successful trading and hope you have a beautiful day. With regards from all of us here at Stock Invest.